Hi there, my name is Mark Payne from MP Audio. I'm a live sound engineer working in the UK and I was the joint founder of SFL Group, which is one of the largest live event companies uh, working in the UK. I still work for them as a consultant. Uh, I was uh, privileged to um, uh, be able to retire just a little bit early and I've still been very busy uh, working in uh, live sound and um, basically I'm back out on the road uh, packing gear into vans. Anyway, um, MacBook Pro, um, my old uh, 2012 Retina machine uh, was getting very long in the tooth and really all I was using that machine for was a live capture of audio at gigs, multi-track recording effectively. Um, uh, I record at uh, 96K. Generally, uh, sessions that I'm recording are 48 tracks and above. That machine was still able to record that amount of audio reasonably reliably, but it's got to the point where I, I, can't, I can't run Logic sessions using it. So uh, people are saying, look, don't bother with uh, the initial release of the, uh, 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 the operating system, uh, Big Sur, running on Apple Silicon, because we can't trust that any of the audio is going to work. Well, um, I've been off the road for a few months, like the rest of us have, have, so I've got a bit of time to take a risk. So this is an Apple Silicon machine. And uh, uh, the, the point here isn't to do some kind of fancy unboxing. That's not my style. Uh, what I'm going to be doing is making sure that this can run the tools and the audio environment uh, that I need to run in, in my business. In this series, and if you want to stay on for the journey, please uh, hit subscribe and uh, I'll be updating in uh, sessions in the future. So what's the point? Well, for this machine to be successful, first of all, I need it to be able to capture. Um, uh, I, I think the machine's got the power for that, but what I'm worried about is whether it's going to support the hardware that I use to capture. Primarily, that is going to be uh, the DS Pro Etherface, uh, which I use to capture AES50 streams uh, from my Midas digital consoles. Maybe I'm using Digico consoles, in which case I'm going to need it to work with something like the um, MGB Maddie face um, um, uh, from uh, DigiGrid. Mm. If I'm not using that, then probably I want it to work with Dante, with Dante Virtual Sound Card. I capture in Logic, I know not everybody does. Secondly, another thing that I use uh, Macs for, MacBook Pros for at gigs is to run QLab. Uh, because I'm working on smaller projects now, I'm having to production manage everything myself. And uh, so I'm doing video uh, playback to screens and LED. And I, and I, I trigger that from QLab. Now, uh, I'm expecting problems, by the way, but I'm just trying to give you the scope of things that I'm going to be testing over the next few weeks. Uh, and I hope you come on the journey with me. I, I need it to run Logic and I need it to run all the plugins that I'm uh, used to running. I, I want that environment to work. So uh, what, what my first uh, really workflow thing of choice is, is this. Uh, I use uh, Console One, uh, which is a soft tube uh, thing, and that really is my go-to plugin on every channel. It really is the way in which I mix in Logic. Uh, I'm, I'm not here to review this, but I'm just saying I need that to work. My go-to reverbs uh, are Liquisonic 7th Heaven. I need that to work. Uh, I use quite a bit of wave stuff, especially the mastering side. L3 Multi Maximizer I use a lot. The metering uh, from waves I use a lot. The bus compressors from waves I use. So I, I, need, I need that stuff to work. And I need it to work native. I, I, I do use an amount of uh, Waves uh, DigiGrid hardware, but I've given in trying to um, offload plugin processing. Um, I've given in uh, trying to offload plugin processing to, uh, sorry about that, uh, to um, uh, Wave servers. I do it all native on uh, my iMac Pro. So I need that native plugin support to work out of the box. I need Final Cut to work because in my in my role as a do everything guy to support some of the bands I'm looking after, I'm having to cut promo videos. I'd like it to run at reasonable speed. If it went half as fast as my iMac Pro, I'd be um, massively happy. I need it to be able to uh, render Logic stuff uh, in in reasonable time. Again, half the speed of my iMac Pro, I'm going to be happy as Larry. So that's where we're going now. I know there's going to be a lot of risks as I reach out to some of the, um, uh, the plug-in providers and software providers, they're going, oh, we don't know. And we know we've got Rosetta 2, which is going to enable uh, 
uh, backward compatibility with some of the old code and we know that some of these things aren't going to be uh, developed or compiled yet so the idea is let's see what happens anyway it, uh, if you're interested in bo unboxings i'm going to unbox this um, it's the first unboxing i've ever done on the internet um, uh, so let's see what we've got uh, as i said previously i've had a an older larger um, uh, macbook pro but it's uh, quite a large it's been quite a large machine so what i liked about this form factor is it's smaller and of course left to my own devices i would have got the 16 inch because i was worried about uh, this thing well the, the traditionally the 15 inch doesn't have a gpu um uh, by the way i'm going to be making no comments about you know what the flipping packaging is like who who cares um what i'm interested in is whether the machine's going to work or not so yes much smaller than my old um, uh, large format um, uh, macbook pro um, uh, i've not had a touch touch bar machine before so that looks uh, quite interesting yeah it's it looks great um so i'm going to get installing um uh, software onto this and we'll find out what it can do uh, from the get-go and what it can't do so don't forget to subscribe come with me on the journey in my role at sfl group uh, i was in, uh, involved in a lot of teaching and uh, mentoring and i'm going to be putting some of those sessions for acoustics for live sound engineers line array design system design i'm going to be uh, developing the mp audio uh, youtube channel over the next few months uh, so uh, keep on checking in uh, subscribe, follow me. Thank you.